Dear students, I am Dr. M. Suganya from Department of Sociology and Social Work. Here now we will see about the dimensions of health. First of all, you know what is meant by health and how it will be uh, influenced due to the different dimensions or perspectives that we will see in this chapter. World Health Organization defines health as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and does not consist only of the absence of disease or infirmity. Health can be studied or analyzed based on different dimensions or perspectives. They are physical dimensions, mental, emotional and spiritual and social. Now let's see the physical dimension. The physical dimension of health refers to the bodily aspects of health. It refers to the more traditional definitions of health as the absence of disease or injury. Physical health ranges in quality along with the continuum where a combination of diseases such as cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease or hypertension are at one and n and a person who is at optimum physical condition is at the other. Physical health can affect the other dimensions of health as a decline in physical health can result in a decline in the other forms of health also. Example, a person who suddenly gets a flu is often isolated socially as do not affect uh, infect others. So this is a great struggle to the person in order to study and learn anything new. So the person may also feel that he is isolated from the society or a family. Now let's see mental dimensions of health. Mental health refers to the cognitive aspect of health. Often mental health is linked to or includes emotional health. Like for example, mental health is more uh, the functioning of the brain while emotional health refers to the person's mood often connected to the hormones. So mental health care affects the other dimensions of health also. An increase in mental health can come as a result of increased uh, physical activity and good mental health can then lead to an increase in self-esteem as mental performance improves. Greater self-esteem leads to the more confidence of the individuals. Now let's see emotional dimension on health. Emotional health is about the person mood or general emotional state. It is uh, our ability to recognize and express feelings adequately. It relates to uh, the self-esteem as well as the ability of the, uh, of the individual's emotions to maintain a realistic perspective on situations. The relationship between emotional and mental health is clear such as uh, some illness relate to both depression and anxiety. So uh, emo emotional health affects the other dimensions of health as a person with a good self-esteem is more confident in social settings that makes uh, that would help him to build the social relationship. Spiritual dimension on health. Spiritual uh, life of an individual plays an important role in the health of the individuals. Spiritual health relates to the sense of the overall purpose in life. People often find this purpose from a belief or faith system while others create their own purpose. A person who has purpose to life is said to be healthier than those who do, who do not see the purpose of uh, life. Spiritual health will very easily affect the emotional and mental health of the individuals and also having a purpose in life that would help the individuals to apply himself or herself to achieve the goals in their life. So having a purposeful uh, life that can also help to people to maintain the proper perspectives on life and overcome adversity. This is how the spiritual life of the individual has great impact on the health in all aspects, physical, social, mental. Now let's see how social dimension uh, of health plays an important role in one's life. The social dimension of health refers to the ability to make the uh, to make and maintain meaningful relationship with others. Good social health includes not only having relationships but also having appropriately within uh, the individuals and maintaining socially acceptable standards. The basic social unit of relationship is the family and these relationships uh, impact a person person's life the most. The other uh, important thing, the relationships are 
close friends, social networks, teachers and friends and colleagues. Social health affects the other dimensions of health in many ways. A bad social life can lead a person to question their purpose in the life. And especially this also can uh, lead the person to, ha to lead an isolated life or um, this kind of situation or if the person is not having uh, uh, if the person is not having good uh, social health so the society uh, may ignore or can isolate or exclude the person from the society or the group where he lives so social uh, aspects of health is also very very important I hope you could have got some clarity uh, how different dimensions or perspectives uh, are there when we analyze the health that includes the physical, emotional, religion or spiritual or mental. So almost all the aspects of health is very very important for a, for a person to lead a healthy and happy life. Thank you.